Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share 10 amazing cleaning hacks that I use and that work great. So I'm always getting so many questions about things that I share in my cleaning videos. So I thought maybe it's helpful to make like a top 10 of my most popular cleaning hacks, my most popular cleaning tips, whatever you want to name it. There's some dust flying around here. Uh, yeah, so if you're new, my name is Lenny. Um, I'm a busy working mom from the Netherlands. I have three kids and I also share uh, mom content here on YouTube, cleaning, cooking, routines, all that stuff. So I would love you to consider subscribing if you're new. Uh, I post a new video every Wednesday and I would love to have you around as part of my little YouTube community here. Uh, I love to connect with people from all over the world and um, yeah, learning about your culture, about how you do things uh, on your side of the world and I share how we do things in the Netherlands. So yeah, I think it's really fascinating how the internet connects us all together. So if you feel the same way, give it a big thumbs up and without further ado, let's get started. So the first hack that I'm going to show you is my most popular one. I'm getting the most questions about this hack. So in a big jar, I mix baking soda with a few drops of uh, an essential oil. I use lavender, but you can use an, another scent if you like. I prefer lavender because I just love the smell. Um, so yeah, and then I sprinkle that mixture on the couch, on the mattresses, and I let that sit for a couple of hours. And what it does, it completely refreshes um, the couch, the sofa, or the mattresses it takes up any bad odor it soaks up any moisture and then after a couple of hours you just vacuum it up and besides the fact that the vacuuming is very satisfying it um, also you know you vacuum up the mixture but also any dust mites any bacteria um, and it completely refreshes and cleans your sofa or mattress and uh, for the mattresses I like to do this once a year when I do my spring cleaning, I like to do the beds as well. And here on the couches, I rub it in because I really wanted to, you know, to have a little bit of a deep clean and then I let it sit for a couple of hours. You can leave it uh, for half an hour, but preferably you can do it much, much longer. And then after a couple of hours, you just vacuum it up and it's just lovely and it smells so nice afterwards and it feels clean, it looks clean and it smells really nice. So if you have a lot of lime scale on your shower head, you can, most of them, you can just take them off, put it in a bucket filled with white vinegar and you just leave that overnight. So let it soak for a night. If you cannot take your shower head off or if it's too complicated, you can also put a plastic bag on it uh, filled with white vinegar you hold it into place with a little rubber band or as you can see on the picture on the right i soaked an old towel with white vinegar wrapped it around the big shower head I hold it into place with some plastic foil and i leave that for i leave that overnight and the next morning you can just brush it up with an old toothbrush and that is another hack never throw away your old toothbrush um, a toothbrush is a great cleaning tool, especially, you know, to get all this little dirt and lime scale from the little corners around the tap. For these precise cleaning jobs, um, the toothbrush is the perfect tool. And then for a natural but very effective way to unclog your drains, put soda crystals in, down the drain and then add a little bit of white vinegar. You can also do it with baking soda. Be careful because it will start to fizz immediately. And then you pour one kettle of hot boiling water on top of it. And then you have a really nice, clean, unclogged drain. For the next few hacks, I'm in my bathroom. Sorry, light is bad, sound is bad, but I just wanted to show you these denture tablets. These work really great for cleaning your toothbrushes. Now, toothbrushes are full of germs, full of bacteria. Can anyone explain to me what is the difference between bacteria and germs? Because I think it's the same word, but I'm not really sure. So if anyone knows the difference between bacteria and germs, please let me know in the comments down below. So what this tablet does, you just put it in a cup, you add the toothbrushes and you add some really hot water and then it will kill 99.9% .9 of all the bacteria or germs and it will rinse out all the toothbrushes. Now people are saying that you need to replace your toothbrush every three months and I think that is quite fast. So uh, as a, a company who produces uh, toothbrushes, I think I would tell everyone the same because then I would sell more, but I think you can keep it a little bit longer as long as you take good care of them and clean them with a denture tablet every once in a while. So for the next hack, you need this good old fashioned washcloth um, or 
a piece of fabric like this, like from an old towel. You can just cut up an old towel and that will work great. So this texture works great for cleaning out your makeup brushes. Now let me show you. So you just put some water on the washcloth or on the flannel and then you put a little bit of shampoo. Now, ideally you would use baby shampoo, but I don't have that. So I use any other type of shampoo that I have. So then I put the, the makeup brush under the tap and then I start brushing on the washcloth and then all the dirt comes out. It is a really soft way, an easy way and cheap way to clean out your makeup brushes. Um, there are like very expensive brush cleaners and all that, but you don't need it. You just rub it on the washcloth and then once that is done, you rinse it on the other side to check if it's really clean. I think I'm happy with the end result. Rinse it off, let it dry, and that's done. So the next hack is something that I learned from the maids in a five-star hotel that I used to work for a long, long time ago. And that is to keep a roll of bin bags in every bin that you have. So instead of running through your house up and down uh, with one roll, just keep one roll in every bin um, on the bottom. So every time you have to replace your bin bag, you just have the roll on hand and that makes life just a little bit easier. So if you follow me for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of this product, Zoflora. Um, this is a disinfectant, but it eliminates bad odors and it works really, really well. This one is almost finished, but I keep a whole collection downstairs. So what I like to do is I put a little bit of uh, paper towel, toilet paper or kitchen paper, uh, it doesn't really matter, and I soak a little bit of Zoflora um, on it. Is that correct English? Probably not. And I keep that on the bottom of the bin bag and when you have like diapers and you know stuff that doesn't smell very nice um, it is great because every time you open the bin it smells nice so and then there's this great secret to keep your mirror from fogging up every time you take a shower so you put a layer of shaving cream on top of the mirror and you just work it in with a cloth so you keep on wiping it down with a cloth until uh, your mirror is completely clean again you have to use the original creaming foam it cannot be gel because it doesn't work with the uh, shaving gel and then you have a fog free mirror for weeks so then the silicon sealant here around uh, in the bathroom can be really difficult to clean uh, with a normal cloth but i found that baby wipes work really well for that so let me show you i have a baby wipe just Look at that, isn't that disgusting? Wow, that's really dirty. I think it's a great hack, but I'm really intrigued with how dirty it is. I cleaned the bathroom from bottom to top a few weeks ago. I did all the silicon sealant, and now I feel like I have to do it all again. Let you see on the other side how it looks like. I think it's a great hack. Did I say that? I think I have to sit down. Okay, let me do it here. Oh my God. Oh, I'm embarrassed to show you guys. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Baby wipes it is. So that's it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it or hope you thought it was helpful. Please let me know which hack was your favorite. And then I really hope to see you subscribing, liking, sharing this video with your friends. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next week. Bye bye.